Hi guys, welcome to Sarah on Sundays. We're gonna be starting off with a whole series of breakfast recipes and then who knows where we're gonna go. Today I'm making a great recipe for breakfast. It's an oatmeal pancakes. I've combined two cups of all-purpose flour with one cup of oats. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of light brown sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon and oats, such a nice combination. Great warm flavors to go together. It's a teaspoon of coarse salt. And then this just gets ground up together. What you're really trying to do is mix all of the dry ingredients as well as break up some of those oats kind of into like a little bit of a flour. The end result should be like the texture of coarse meal. Not too fine. I think that's good. All right, next. I have two cups of whole milk here, and to that add two large eggs. I mean, do you guys usually use a box mix for pancakes? I kind of want to know, because I feel like pancakes are pretty easy to make, so why not make your own? But if you use the box, tell me why. Why, guys, why? Whisk, whisk, whisk. You can whisk your eggs before you add them to avoid maybe splashing yourself with milk, but I like to live life on the edge. I think you guys know that about me. A quarter cup of vegetable oil. You could use melted butter too. That's a really nice flavor. Now you can add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. I'm beginning to feel like maybe my bowl is too small. <laughs> Be very careful. And then to that add one cup of rolled oats. So you're gonna get some great texture from the unpulsed rolled oats here. And like all pancake batters, it's okay if there are a few lumps and particularly in this one, it's gonna be very lumpy because of the oats, but don't over mix it because it can get kind of gummy. Flour sort of like works itself up into a fury if you over mix it. I have a cast iron skillet here that I've preheated on sort of a medium low heat and I'm gonna turn it up just a bit. I have a confession to make you guys. I almost always ruin pancakes. I don't know what it is. Every time I cook them, I either burn them or they're cooked unevenly. And then I was in the kitchen and I was talking to one of my colleagues and she was looking at me making pancakes and she said, well, I think that you're just using too much fat in the pan. So today I'm gonna to try with a lot less fat and see if that works. If you have an electric frying pan or an electric skillet, it's so great and you cook your pancakes at 350 degrees, that actually is the perfect way to cook pancakes. I'm using an ice cream scoop today which makes scooping my pancake batter into my pan really easy. I think it's the neatest way yet that I've found and this is about a quarter cup of batter. Then you just wanna cook them until they start bubbling around the edges and they get a little bit dry and even a couple bubbles in the center and that's when you know they're ready to turn over. We'll just wait. Oh my God! See some bubbles, even in the center. Let's see what happens. They're gorgeous. These are actually so beautiful. You flip them over, you cook them until they're set. I usually just touch the top to make sure that it's not squishy feeling, and then I take them out. Keep them in a 200 degree oven and you just keep making your pancakes until they're all ready. The last batch can go directly onto a plate. Breakfast in Bed, episode one is coming to a close with a fantastic deliciousness aspect to it. I'm super excited. I hope you're happy and excited to be getting breakfast in bed courtesy of yours truly, Sarah Carey. Mmm, mmm, there we go. And that's it. Delicious and hearty cinnamon oat pancakes for breakfast in bed today. Yay Sundays! guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.